Hello friends, welcome to Endo Tales from Life. In this very interesting video, we are going to clinically demonstrate and especially compare three different brands of a pixel locator on a patient to see how effective they are. Yes, we are going to compare three products from different price ranges and also discuss about how to get consistent results with the pixel locators and the reasons why you get inconsistent readings at times is etc and we're also going to unbox the walden's new micropix apex locator so thanks to dental card for sending us a brand new package of the walden's micropix for making this video and that's when i had this idea of comparing it with different brands and this product from walden is available for a price of 5100 in the dental card website and i'll also thank Coltein for providing their demo Apex Locator, which is the Canal Pro. The cost of this Apex Locator is 60,000, and this comes with the Coltein's brand value, the Swiss company we all know, and one of the most reputed products when it comes to Apex Locators in the market for some time. So, that is the second Apex Locator we're going to do. The third one is 18th which is my own personal Apex locator, which is in my practice for the last three years. And this, what I liked is it was very cute, small, had the wireless charging option. And the current price of this model, the Apex is 15,000. So let us begin with the unboxing of the Micropix. When I opened the package, this is what I saw. We could see the product manual which was very simple and clear with good explanations and this is the main unit the main unit does not have any charger instead it runs with three AAA batteries and just like any other apex locator they come with the lip clip and the file holders there are two numbers in each of them So these are the file holders that are used along with K files. These are the lip clips. And these are something that you must have seen with your Apex Locator package, but you may not have used this much. This is called the Touch Pro. It's very interesting. We'll be showing how these are used in this video more. And apart from this, we have the main cable which connects the unit to the lip clip or the file holder so generally you all must have been used to using k files along with your apex locator these are the traditional apex locators or the independent apex locators so apart from the file holder in this video you'll be seeing me using the touch clip i mean the touch probe i'll tell you why this is used in this video And they also give you a tester. You can see this can be attached to both the ends of the cable to check if your Apex locator is working fine. When you connect them together, it should be in the green zone. That is a simple test to you know if your Apex locator is fine or you need to send it for a service. The second one is the Canal Pro from Colty. You can see it's a very sturdy unit, very well built and this does not require any batteries it comes with the charger just like your mobile phones you can charge them and they have pretty good battery life and they also have a cable that connects it to your main unit and then you have the lip clip and you can either connect to a file holder or the same touch probe that i have mentioned in the about the previous product as well So these file loaders are generally used when you are using K files for your working line determination and also you can see there's a nice big LED display compared to the previous product. So it feels a little premium. So in general Apex locators especially these individual Apex locators which do not come with endomotors they are specifically meant to be used along with K files but we know off late the usage of K files is being reduced. We know that 
then rotary files can be directly used even without KFR usage and that's why these endo motors with inbuilt apex locators or the integrated apex locators are very famous we have done a video on this before so since uh, I don't use K files much during my instrumentation sequence in this video you will see me but I have to try these apex locators I'm going to try it with the touch clip I mean the touch probe so I put the lip clip of the apex locator into the patient's lip and the other end I'm going to just have the touch probe which will hand over to my assistant which my assistant can just come and contact my file when I'm going to work in the canal so here the contact of the touch probe along with the rotary file is going to give me a reading so this makes it less messy compared to attaching a file holder to the rotary file here and I'm just entering especially the apical part of the canal my assistant can keep the touch probe in contact with the file which is going to help my apex locator tell me in real time where my file is working so now I'm going to compare all these three products with the same technique that I mentioned in three different canals of the same tooth all right so for the first this is on a maxillary molar uh, 2.6 the first mesio buccal canal I'm going to use the micropix apex locator so here as always I pre-bend my rotary file for easy placement and as I enter the middle third and I'm approaching the apical third of the canal you can see my assistant touching and you can see the apex locator visually entering the green zone and also the sound once it enters the green zone I'm going to stop and now I'm using in the distro buccal canal I'm using the Coltine's apex locator and again once it enters the green zone or the apex zone in the apex locator we stop in the palatal canal I'm going to use the Yapex apex locator the same way when I work and see my assistant just contacting my file I will stop instrumenting the moment the file comes into the green zone now we are going to perform the irrigation and place my master cone in all the three canals the most interesting part comes now this is the radiograph so the mesio buccal canal is the Walden's apex locator the distro buccal canal is the Coltine's apex locator and the palatal is the 18th and you see that all the three of them have performed beautifully decently and accurately you see here the mesio buccal root my GP is well within the lamina dura of the mesio buccal root. In the distro buccal as well, you can see my GP well within the lamina dura of the distro buccal root. And in the palatal, the 18th apex locator has performed pretty well as well. The GP is there very much within, which means that my instrumentation was exactly stopped where we wanted, which is somewhere almost near the minor constriction or the cemento dentinal junction these are the ideal areas where you want to stop so we don't never want to go till the radiographic apex one of the best way to biologically stop at the right working length is these apex locators and this small experiment you can see all these three brands have performed pretty well and one of my very old apex locator was this this was from Cybron Endo and what is common in all these apex locator is the color zones that you will see so let me tell you in a very simple way don't bother too much about the readings the numbers that are written here like 1 2 3 but in fact the calibration between 0 to 0 0.5 really doesn't matter all you need to know that is these numbers are not actually accurate but the zones in which your apex locator is working is what gives you an idea about where your file is so if your apex locator enters into the green zone that means it is the first point where 
the file is contacting the periodontal tissue and that is where we need to stop. That's it. If it's going into the red zone, it means you're going beyond. How much you're going beyond? Again, these values are not going to be consistent. So just stop. Once the file enters the comf into the green zone, then take your master cone radiograph and then if there is some little you know, discrepancy or excess, you can always adjust the GP, cut the GP or, you know, and my final working length has to be always within the apex. It's always on an average one millimeter short of the apex. That is the most ideal. So this green zone is where I'm asking you to stop. Why? Because it always coincides with the minor constriction. The next thing that I'm going to tell you is why people always get wrong apex located readings. Let me tell you very frankly, the application of rubber dam is very important for you to have predictable results, especially because you want to keep the gingiva away from the apex locators or the files contacting the gingiva. So good isolation plays a very important role. A lot of times people tell me Sir, my apex locator is not working. The moment I touch the canal, my apex locator starts or shows apex. That is because of improper isolation. Okay, so good isolation is mandatory and even with rubber dam isolation, if you are not able to achieve proper proximal isolation, again it can be a problem. So, even if you do not do a pre-endodontic build up, at least with gingival barriers, make sure you seal those proximal boxes nicely and the liquid in the pulp chamber should not contact the gingiva or any periodontal tissue. That is very important for you to achieve good success. So a lot of times the improper readings happen when people don't apply a rubber dam during their endo and you can see here the gingival tissue. Remember this apex locator will always give you reading when the file is contacting any pedial tissue. When the file is touching the canals and if the canals are wet and if the liquid in the canal or the pulp chamber is going to contact the gingival tissue, it can be even the interdental papilla, it's going to give you a reading. So that is one of the reasons for in inaccurate apex locate reading. So it's mandatory if you are not applying a rubber dam, we do not recommend working or doing endo without rubber dam, but if at all, at least a pre-endodontic buildup is mandatory in such cases to get predictable apex locator reading. So uh, a good isolation plays a very important role for you to achieve good results because you can see the study just like how we did a small experiment. In this study they tested nine different brands of apex locators. Of so all of you listening who want to know which is the best apex locator, let me tell you that irrespective of the brand, all of them were accurate in the study. But the operator who used it, the way they isolated was more important for achieving success. You can see there is a difference in success rate ranging from 5 to 71 percent depending on the operator how they used it. Okay, so this is what I want to tell you. Use your apex locator so that it can reduce your number of radiographs but also you need to understand apex locators this is not a replacement for radiograph. So if you use apex locator, yes, you can skip the working length step, keeping your files and taking a radiograph, but you still need to take a master cone and keep your final observations always a little short of your radiographic apex. That is the ideal way of doing it. And that's what most of the studies recommend. And I hope this video was very useful and please let me know in your comments if you want, uh, any comparison video similar to this with the different gadgets and please do recommend this video to your friends as well which will make me or which will motivate me to do more such videos thank you so much for watching and see you all soon in our next video